Saludos, aquí les tengo una lindísima sorpresa. Estamos con Bruce Lipton, una persona que nos ha enseñado todo el fin de semana muchísimas cosas desde la ciencia. Cómo empalmar esa ciencia con la espiritualidad, con la mente, con el cuerpo. Así que vamos a hacerle un par de preguntas para que ustedes puedan compartir, puedan aprender, puedan disfrutar de su energía, de su sabiduría y de toda esa información que nos viene a traer. Bruce, thank you very much for this um, invitation. Uh, I'm so grateful first because um, my country, I think, it's in a. I I say it like an awakening, you know. It's it's uh, like the the concept of uh, understanding yes. the universe and, and a lot of things, you know. So um, I just wanted to break a little bit the glass. Okay. And I just um, loved this morning he was talking about uh, us about um, a concept of a super consciousness. So I, I wanted to ask um, you to explain a little bit this concept about God, your God. <laughs> <laughs> My God, how about our God? Our, our God, yes. Okay, all amigos, Bruce. <laughs> um, sometimes we think this is all we are, just the biology part. But physics, the science of physics reveals that we are actually the energy, the invisible energy. And in physics, they have a word called the field. The field, which means the invisible energy around us. And the definition of the field is invisible moving forces that influence the physical world. What's very interesting is that definition in quantum physics for field is the same definition for spirit, invisible moving forces that influence the physical world. So what we're experiencing now is physics, science, and ancient spirituality are coming together to reveal that we are more than just these physical bodies, that we are an energy plane like television antennas, each one of us. And each person has different antennas than other people. So your cells have different antennas than my cells. The antennas, just like television, receive the signal from the outside. The name of these antennas is very important. They're called self-receptors, which means receivers of self. I say, but the antennas are, what are they reading? like a television show and our cells have the antennas and pick up our broadcast so you see you're looking at the Bruce show but Bruce is a Bruce is a broadcast like the television all around us right now they're different television stations but humans are have their own station and each one of us has different antennas so each one of us is a different station but we can call the station a field in quantum physics But in regular talk, it's called spirit. A spirit is a broadcast, an energy that comes into our body. And then we live and we communicate with our spirit. What's very important, it's like watching a TV set. You're watching the Bruce show right here. My broadcast is coming in. My cells are picking it up on the antenna. And I say, but when you watch a TV and it breaks, you say the TV is dead. I go, yes, the TV is not working, but the broadcast is still there. It's still out here. So basically says, you cannot die because you're not the body. You are the broadcast. You are the, inf the invisible information coming in. And all of a sudden you realize what ancient history and spiritual people have been saying for thousands of years, that we are spiritual essence. We are spiritual energy playing in a physical body and so we are here to experience life and when our physical body dies our energy is still here and a future body can come in with the same antennas that are on your cells now and you will be back but in a different television set a different body you could come back as a man you could come back as a woman you could come back as a white person a red person a brown person a yellow person a broadcast you are not your television set so I say look your television set at home is different than my television set but you both we both can see the same station yeah, we can tune the same. Right. so it doesn't it's not the television set who we are we're not the TV we are the broadcast so we have to own that we are a spirit 
spirit. And then we come here to experience life with these bodies that we have. And this is the most fun because with these bodies we can create. We can create love, we can create peace, and we can create harmony. Unfortunately, we also can create war and we can create violence. And we have to recognize, since we are the ones that are creating this, then maybe we should see what are we creating. And if we don't like what we are creating, we can change that creation. And this is important because it says, why are we here? To experience this beautiful world, how magical. People think that you're gonna to go to heaven and find something beautiful. I said, you wanna see something beautiful? Look around where you are. This is heaven to me. And I say, why is it important? Because I came here to have an experience of life, an experience of love, an experience of harmony and around beautiful people and enjoying my life. And if you're not enjoying your life, it's time to change the program <laughs> and, and play something different. You know I'm sorry, but I need to ask you this question yes, ask the because question. It's, it's coming, you know. Um, why if uh, uh, my antennas yeah. receive a signal from like a higher environment, yeah. do, do you think I can download a higher programs? I mean, in a spiritual view, you, the channeling is yeah. um, like very common, you know. The yeah, channeling is pulling in the station. And the idea is you can pull in when you are what they call meditation mm -hmm. or what they say out of body thinking well you can you you can go into the universe and bring information and bring it back so like artists musicians and painters and sculptors they get a writers. vision writers they get a vision first and, and where the vision come from somewhere too. yeah and scientists scientists when they're trying to study they say where, where did you get your information i said it was thinking I said, yeah, but where did the thinking come from? I said, from the energy. Uh -huh. And so, yes, we can download this energy, we do, but we also have to recognize that we have programs, that when we come into this world, we have to learn how to cooperate with the family and cooperate with the community, so we learn rules, we learn how to behave. And I said, oh, so we were programmed like a computer. I go, yes. I said, who program you? I said, your parents program you, your family, the community programs you. You see how they behave, you learn how they behave, and you become like them. I said, but many times the programs are not good for us. Many times these are very bad programs. We get sick. I go, yeah, but we can change the program. That's the important part that this new science tells us. You are not a victim. You are a creator. If you don't like the creation you're living in, you can make a new creation. You have to just get out of the program. And this is the story of the science that we are presenting at this meeting that I'm so glad you're here because now you can tell everybody in the audience about that science and what you learned at these meetings. But to recognize you are a spiritual piece of God, you cannot be separated from God, you are a piece of God. You're like a cell in the body of God. Each one of us is a cell mm -hmm. in the body of God. And why is that important? You can't be separated from God. No one can take you away from God. You can't say, I'm just not gonna be with God. You are connected. And why is that important? Because some people will tell you, oh, God doesn't like you, or God is mad at you, or something. It's like, no way. You are a piece of God. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, since I am God and you are God, so why yep. don't you give a God, God, a goddess and a God? Uh, well, we can just hug. <laughs> goddess and God hug. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you. And I want to thank the audience because these are my fellow pieces of God. And if all of us work together, then heaven is real and it's right here, right now. Yeah, that's why I was going to uh, end this interview. Spanish, I'm gonna say it. Tú puedes ser y vivir el cielo aquí en la tierra. Crea tu propia realidad y recuerda que eres un destello de luz que puede iluminar muchísimas vidas.